We're learning more about an NFL star's grandmother shot in the head by her own husband. This happened in Huber Heights and our Nicole Grigg has the latest. Authorities describe what happened here on Rolling Glen as an unintentional act. In an interview with us before he headed to the Green Bay Packers, defensive end Jarrell Worthy says his family got him to where he is today. And tonight, that family dealing with the accidental shooting of his grandmother, May Worthy. Two years ago, Jarrell posted this picture to his Twitter account saying, Grandma finally made it to my game. Uh, my neighbor Mary and I walk our dogs every day. We talk Talk to Jim and May. Very nice couple. Very nice. Police say the shooting appears to be an accident. May Worthy's husband James was doing something with his gun when it went off. It went through the bedroom wall, down into the opposite end of the house, and just happened to strike her in the back of the head while she was sitting on the couch. We're told James didn't call police. He called his daughter, and she called 911. You can hear how upset she was. Why aren't you calling 911? Okay. And I think he's just in a panic. We did some digging and found out that this is the second accidental shooting at this house. In 2007, James Worthy and his 14 year old granddaughter's father got into a dispute. A gun accidentally went off, hitting the teen. Neighbors say they never see problems, though, and that the couple have been together for decades. I've known them for years. I've lived here since 1990. If I have my firearm out, I'm not pointing it in any direction other than to the ground. Right now, there are no charges in this case. For now, reporting in Huber Heights, Nicole Gregg, ABC 22 News. Tonight, Mrs. Worthy remains in critical condition. Police telling us mm. they've passed evidence to prosecutors for a possible negligence with firearms charge.